Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Making Data Useful with Adam. Start things off with a bit of a hypothetical. Let's imagine for a moment uh, somebody's asked you, hey, jump on the Australian government data.gov.au website uh, and tell me all about all of the business names. Just how many is there? Tell me a bit about them. You know, how many start with A? You know, just tell me stuff about business names. Like, yep, cool, easy, no worries. Data.gov.au is a really great website for that. Let me go ahead and download all of those um, business names. Cool, so you hit the download button and that's all going really well. Uh, and then you get to the point of opening up that CSV file and you're thinking, great, CSV file. Excel opens that, we'll quickly open up in there and we'll be out by lunchtime. So in this hypothetical, it's like 11.59 and lunchtime's at midday. Okay, so you clicked on the file, it's starting to open. Now this computer's a bit slow, but let's give that a moment. I've just clicked it again. I should have done that, that's all right. Um, file not loaded completely great so that tells me uh, this file has over a million records uh, we can quickly validate that all the way to the bottom yep so we've maxed out Excel's ability we've literally hit the end of the line for Excel um, we can't view anything more now the good news is your colleague suggests hey why don't you just run this thing through Python and at this point unless you've been using a Python for a little while and have experience with it you're probably thinking I don't even know where to begin. My advice, if you are just starting out and wanting to get across data using Python, uh, I would probably avoid downloading Python directly from the official Python website, which sounds a bit weird. Uh, I would even avoid getting it from the Microsoft store. Again, sounds a bit strange. Um, if you're on a Mac, I wouldn't even bother with Homebrew, um, Brew install. I would actually head over to Anaconda uh, and grab yourself the individual edition. Now, the reason I recommend this for sort of people starting out who want to work with data in Python it does come with batteries included. And what I mean by that is it comes with a whole heap of included packages for people working with data uh, in Python. So go ahead and install uh, Anaconda. Uh, and let's go ahead and see if we can uh, make some sense of this business name data set. So once that's all installed, you're going to want to go ahead and load up your Anaconda Navigator. In here, there's a whole heap of things that you could uh, use to interact with Python. Uh, my go-to these days is a notebook, Jupyter Notebook. It's nice and easy. It's lightweight. Um, and it's it's good for getting these quick sort of data jobs done. So as you can see here, I've navigated to a folder. I've got one here called YouTube, quick Python data tips. That's what I've called my folder. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, on the top right, hit new and then Python three. Um, give the file a name. The name I'm gonna give this one is business names analysis. Cool, can't even see my keyboard. Let me fix this. Hold up, almost, better. All right, so we've called it business names analysis. First thing we're gonna do is import pandas. Now, I've imported pandas and I'm calling it as PD. Now, the reason I'm doing that is when I reference pandas, the package, I just have to use the word PD. And if this isn't making sense at the moment, sit tight. Um, hopefully it'll start to make a bit more sense in a moment. So I'm gonna shift enter on that, so shift enter. Missed the enter key. Uh, and when I shift enter on that, I then get a new cell. You can quite easily add cells simply by hitting the plus button and that's gonna give you more room to work. Okay, cool, so now that we've imported pandas, uh, we're gonna create a variable called business names dear for data frame. Uh, and we're gonna say pd.read underscore CSV. Uh, and we're gonna grab the CSV name, uh, which is in that folder, which I've seemed to have closed, but that's okay. We can open that one up. Uh, and it's business underscore names underscore 202108. I'm going to shift enter on that. And we've got an error, tokenized data, expected one fields in line four or three. So that tells me, and I can double check, but I have a suspicion, although it's called a CSV, which stands for comma separated values, I think the Australian government might be using tabs. So let's go ahead and say something like um, delimiter equals, okay. Uh, and we're gonna say it equals backslash T, shift enter on that. Uh, ooh, got a new error, let's have a look at this one. Alrighty, so UTF-8 code, it can't decode byte 092 in position 11, invalid start byte. So that tells me that there is some weird and funky characters that might be outside of the UTF-8 uh, character set. Um, there's a number of different ways to get around that. I've seen this one a bunch of times. 
Um, one of the ways that I've had success in the past is I can actually set the encoding to equals and Latin is a much broader character set. So shift enter on that. Um, so we had to do a couple of things and, and normally if it is a pretty standard CSV, it is comma separated and it doesn't have weird characters, you would not actually require these additional steps. Um, but look, I'm pretty happy we got those errors today so I can actually show you how I usually overcome them. Um, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have a look at that data. So let's go ahead and copy and paste our business names DF. Shift enter on that. Cool, so now that we have the data frame loaded, uh, we can very quickly see that there's 2.84 million records um, and that's probably enough to answer our question. But I am noticing here there's registered and deregistered. Uh, so what we might do is just as an added bonus, we'll have a look at that status. And what we're looking at here is the series. So think of that as a column. Um, and then we just want to go ahead and say, hey, tell me about the value underscore the value, oops, the value counts. And from that, I can very quickly tell you that we have 2.4 million registered businesses uh, and about 385,000 deregistered. Okay. Um, look. This has been a really quick intro um, to get you set up looking at data in Pandas and Python. Uh, if this has been useful, please, I encourage you to drop a comment, let me know. Uh, we are gonna be doing a bit of a series on this, uh, working through this data set, doing a whole heap of data cleaning, remediation, and some automation. Um, and if it has been useful, again, please leave a comment. Um, look, thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I appreciate it so much. It means so much to me. If you're not a subscriber already, please go ahead and do. We are so close to getting to 4,000. Uh, I think we're only a handful away. And if you could be part of that, that'd be so awesome. Um, I'm going to be putting out videos every week, um, really short, sharp, and quick. Uh, so drop a comment on the different types of things that you would like to explore more uh, using Python and data. Uh, and thank you so much.